today we have a uh, Land Rover Defender. It's a 1994 model fitted with the 2.5 TDI engine and it's got roughly 82,000 miles on the clock. So as part of the service on this uh, Land Rover, I'll be changing the uh, diesel filter, the fuel filter, which is conveniently located just here. Right, so this is going to be a little bit messy. Um, I'll do what I can to try and contain most of it. I've put a uh, drain tub on the floor underneath as well, because I think it's going to trickle out all over the place. Uh, there's a couple of ways you could approach it. You could undo the two pipe unions here, then undo the two bolts and take the whole thing off and do it you know, in the vice or over a oil drain tub or whatever. Um, I'm just gonna see if I can unscrew it on here and lift the filter part of it out. Um, yeah, so I'll grab my slide grips, which I generally use for oil, oil filter removal. And this should unscrew Good, that wasn't too tight. I think I'll put a glove back on for this. Yeah, here comes the diesel. As you can see, it's brim full, so you're going to lose a little bit, but not too much. Okay. Right, that's out. I should put that over the drainer. I'll just leave that there to drain down. Right, so I've got the new filter here in the vise. Just handy to hold that while I do what I've got to do. Um, it's a good idea to fill these up with diesel before you fit them back on, just so you don't get an airlock in the system and the engine's trying to pull fuel through and it's just getting air, it'll cut out and it'll take a lot of cranking over until it finally bleeds off and you'll only end up uh, possibly with a flat battery and putting the starter motor under a lot of um, hard work for no reason really. Um, and with these, similar to the oil filter, the seals just pull out. So make sure when you take the old filter off, it's still got the old seals in it and they're not stuck on the housing where you're gonna be screwing this one up. So I've got a clean funnel here. Hopefully that'll um, somehow fit in there. And it's not unleaded fuel. That is actually diesel I've got in there. I just wanna Fill it up. It actually screws in there. So it might be a little bit messy. I'll try not to spill it everywhere, but probably will. As you can see, it does actually hold a fair bit, so it is a good idea to prime it up if you can. Oh. Uh, I tend to leave them for uh, a couple of minutes because the paper element in there will soak up the diesel and you'll see the level of drop slightly and then just pop a little bit more in. So we'll let that stand for a few minutes. Well, it stood for a few minutes now and the level hasn't really dropped down much. So 
I'll leave it at that. Uh, something else I like to do is just um, lubricate these seals just with a little bit of diesel. Just stop some sticking. That was an air bubble. Right, let's get this screwed back on. I have actually got a little plastic cap screwed in the bottom of these filters, which I'll show you in a moment on the old one. Good idea to make sure that that's tight. These only have to be hand tight, same as an oil filter. That should do. Yeah, that's tight. Um, there's the old filter and you can see it there. Sometimes they have a uh, sensor which you can screw into the bottom. So it's either just this or uh, you might find a sensor on there with two wires in there that just tells you if there's any water in the filter and then you can remove this and drain the water out that's in there. But this particular model doesn't have one, it just has the plastic cap in there. Right, so the filter's on and hand tights. I've taken all the uh, blue roll out and given it a little bit of a wipe down. I'm going to uh, start it up now. Hopefully it'll fire up okay. Um, sometimes it'll fire up, run for a little while and pull a little bit of air through and it might cut out. But let's see what happens. So really all I want to do is um, make sure it's dry, it doesn't get damp, make sure there's no leaks. That looks to be fine. Um, as with all my jobs, I'll uh, take this one for a run around the block, bring it back in, double check, I'm happy that's tight and that it's dry and there's no leaks. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully the video's been of uh, some help for you. And if it has, please consider hitting like and subscribe. It will help our channel out no end. Cheers.